contact that I saw David doing this. Quite successful, actually. <coughs> He's actually not put the weight on it. He's to the draw. The knee goes loose, and then he finds a way to smash from there. See what happens. He finds a way to pass. Um, usually by going over the bottom leg, and yeah, like that. See? So because he's not putting pressure on me, it's sort of the, there's only so far I can use the knee shield. And I, I can't remember what technique you were using, but you kind of got around me. Yeah. <laughs> you just got around and, and it's pretty much smashed on me, and now we're talking side control, right? You ended up in side control. So bear in mind, half guard utilizes both legs. It's not just good enough to be aware of this, it's you have the hook here. So say this got um, somehow, oh, we go, I still got this. Say Dean wants to back off and run away. So I've got this, I'm squeezing my knees together. I want to trap his leg, any means necessary. Ideally with both legs. Right? And we'll explore this actually for on one of the techniques I'm going to do. Might as well stay here in the technique. So, okay, let's look at, um, <clears throat> he's busted through and he's smashing me. Okay. Right, so we have a problem here. My back is flat and uh, this, I can't really get this weight off me. So there, there are a couple of, I have only really two options. I can move my body that way, or I can move my body that way. Yes? You can see where this is going. So let's start at the most basic, um, basic version of the, the escape. I want to send him that way, the side where uh, his, his underhook is. Yes. But if I roll that way, he just puts his arm up and stops me. See what he's doing with his arm there. So the first thing he's doing is now that I know that's what I want to do, I'm blocking his arm here. Right, so I've I blocked his axis. So if I'm wrong, I should be successful, right? No, no, sort of. I need assistance. Okay? And bear in mind, I'm not going to my legs in the, in the second stage. I need some sort of boom. <coughs> Now some people teach you like this way you push, but I find simply putting your hand here and rolling more useful because I'm constantly connected with it. It's almost like a guide. Now what makes um, being go over? If you just use brute force, well, it's strength against strength. Look at my legs. But look how I've got it. We'll spin around so you get a good So he's busted through my knee shield, he's got the underhook, and he has the crossbows here, right? I want to go that way, the way where I think that he's most likely to succumb because I can block this arm. Remember, if I didn't do anything, I just went that way, he'd use the arm. It's blocked here. Quite low down at the elbow rather than here, because he can still move on. Yeah, you got on that. Not so easy. So that's part one. Part two, a little assistance from your hand. I do under the arm, the hip, it's wherever you think he's going to go. I just put it on his lats there. And finally, a little swing of the legs there. Now it's not always going to be as easy as that, but that should be your first go to escape attack. <coughs> Everything feeds off that attack. Oh, well, the next few techniques will feed off that attack. Yes? One, two, three, let's go. Take your time, experience, um, yeah. even if you don't like half guard, you're going to end up in half guard. And if you play half guard, you're going to end up in a smash half guard. Uh, guaranteed. You know, you know, unless you just basically don't engage your guard at all. Let's look at variation. Now, <coughs> you guys can see, I will spin around so you guys can see, it's up to you if you want complete all the time view, but the best thing is to see what my feet are. So he smashes me. So I've blocked here, I'm assisting it and I'm doing a leg swing, but it's not quite working. Dean is quite clever, he places his hips slight here. So you see no amount of it's gonna go. S same direction, slightly different setup. This time my leg goes here. And you see what I'm doing with my foot here and basing that on the ground. Now, it's not a swing, it's a bridge. And you need to change your leg position. So watch again. This is the, the mechanism is different when I'm going in the same direction, right? 
Remember, the first one was like a swing, so it's almost like he had no choice but to go here. But this time you'll notice, having done part one, part two, oh, no, that's not working. Different leg position. Here, you need control of his foot here, because as Dean was saying, you could, you could easily step your leg out. So, put that one hand. This means this leg now, hello, has a, has a purpose, it's on the floor. Now, remember our bridging, one, one knee up, one knee sort of down, or not doing anything. This allows me to send his hips shooting over there. Also look at his head, where the head goes, the body will follow. So I'm bridging that direction, which will allow me to sweep him, okay? Resist the temptation to, to, it's very tempting to think of this as a roll sideways. It's not a roll sideways. I'm not going. <coughs> where the head points, the body will follow. You do need to, without being, you do need to reach, reach there. And then, because this, you can't base out with your hand, can you? I'm going to turn around and do it the other way because just so that you can catch it if you both get something to watch over here. With a smash half guard, I've tried the first version. <clears throat> I can sense his body to shift that way, it's not going to work. Swap. Okay. Now I have a foot firmly placed on the ground. I can reach there and subtly change my leg direction so I'm not trapped in his half guard. That's if you that's the 100 percent you know perfect scenario, you might end up there. Mm, not too bad, then I'll start working on half of the steps, which we'll cover another lesson. Okay? So remember the purpose of your bridging. Eight one to three. So now we're going to. It's the same sweep again. Alright, we're going to give you a nice dynamic scenario in which to use it, which ups the percentage success rate. So because whenever you do any technique in isolation, your percentage success relies on how dumb the other person is performing, right? I'm not kidding, but that's basically, you know, in crude terms, that's basically how it is. Um, but if they're smart enough to uh, counteract what we're doing, then you have to think of plan B, plan C. But well, the best way is to fake something in order to get the original sweep, as we saw with the grip exchanges in the other. So here's one thing we can do. <coughs> so smash, half guard. So I'm already, it doesn't matter what, which version you're going for, let's say I'm going to this one anyway, switch your hips. But it's not quite, I think, I figure that he's, he's, he's already, you know, he's seen that way, yeah, he's already figuring out what to do. Let's go back to my original foot, footwork here. Yeah? Now I'm going to send him that way. This is a legitimate sweep. Some people could fall for a sweep that way, right? But you, can anyone answer why more, more times than not that's not going to work? Why is that going to work? Does he have less power? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see this arm here? <coughs> exactly right. Well, that's cool. You do that in one place, you keep forcing if he doesn't like it. So it's this, the classic old push pull technique, you know, the Kazushi, right? <coughs> so, same thing again. Personally, I think this works better if you go for the original legs and knee version. Because with the one where you're underneath, it's quite hard to then do that. So we're back here with him, the normal half guard. We, are, we have to push up off this base foot. And this is how I told you if we'll do that thing. This is what we do when we have to do the thing there. We're shooting up to the sky. And you're forcing heels up. And as soon as he feels, I was a bit late, as soon as he feels, you push it back in, you go to the next knee mode. It's not going to look crazy, it's not going to look You're just taking the momentum. And I say, if you can't, or if not, if you trap your leg in half guard, I don't want to talk about it on Sunday. But you're on top. I'm going to do this side like, so catch you a little bit and the camera. So, my original bird, yeah, he's a bit wise to that one, shoots up. Yeah. So, pressure, pressure, it's one way, and you feel the pressure come back, and you shoot and go away with the original first technique. Yes? Okay, what's this? This is fun. This is this will work. This will 